Hey baby, where are you gonna go? What's up boys and girls, the machine freaks of the internet. Hope you guys are feeling super good today. We do have three days until Christmas. We're running that machine merch sale. Get your mystery item. We are currently working on the seats. I wanna get this guy in. Let's get to it. Check this out. Oh man, that's looking tight. It was a process, but I got the mounting all situated. It feels really good. It's about uh, two inches higher than it than it's, uh, was originally. I don't know if it looks like this to you, but I thought it looked really close from where your knees would go to where the glove box goes. But I got in there and I'm 6'1", and uh, it feels good. So in my opinion, the passenger side is more challenging than the driver's side. And now that we got that one situated, the driver's side should be easier. I should have honestly started with the driver's side, but hey, we got one of them done. Time for number two. I got all four of them. Did I just really do that? I do have all four of these bolts tacked up. I have to do something with this bracket because it's got a little bit of cancer on it. I want to cut that out of there, put something new in there, clean this all up, and then paint it. Now, like I said, I did the passenger first. Kind of, you know, it was kind of sketchy because the driver's side would be easier. But since I did the passenger side first, I'm actually going to cheat on this side. And first of all, this one's going 20 times faster. But that side, I only went one and three quarter inches over. Here, I'm going to go two inches over. So that way, I have a little bit more room to play with my lever. Sure, insert your that's what she said jokes here. And then try to say that five times fast, the statement I just said. And I'll probably end up clearing this roll bar without even touching. Sorry passenger, but I am going to be riding a little bit more comfortable than you. I had to run downtown real quick. I had to get two things. One of them I'm going to show you now. The other one I'm going to show you in a second. I had to get some diesel fuel. The torpedo heater was running low. I also put that heat shield under the Jeep there. And I got a parts list to set that one up. Now this project has taken a long time. I mean, we are doing this thing from the ground up. The thing that's taking the longest on every single situation is hardware. You lose stuff or things were rusty or things just won't work now because modifications needed to be done. So hardware just running down, running back. You gotta get this piece of hardware to get to the next piece of hardware and it just adds up. question will it line up front right bolt needs to be adjusted a little bit and that was the one that I figured we were gonna have to mess with anyways the chode had to screw it all up that guy right there gotta go to about three quarters of an inch that way Double tack it or single tack it? Is it gonna be good or is it not gonna be good? I'm going with double tack. Perfect! I'm glad I went with a double tack. Now we can go with the full send. Remember a little bit ago when I was talking about diesel fuel and I said I had two things to share with you? This is the second thing, the new draft. You gotta get the shot! It's a camera blued out and marooned out with 3D machines going down the side of it. 
I have them at Machine Merch. I got them in ash and I have them in light gray. I still get questions on what the mystery items are. These are just a few of them that come with each apparel item. So you get something froggy fresh, like the new drop right here, then you get a free item. If you get any of the OG stuff, you get a free item. If you get the flat brim hat or one of these snapbacks, you get a free mystery item. Does that bring everybody up to speed now? The second seat is now installed, and the way I did this, you guys can see, I had to extend these things up because the way, the way this thing was going to work, I had to start from the lowest point, which would be right there on the transmission tunnel. So when transferring that dimension over here, you can see we had to extend it. Now, what I was thinking was I needed to put like some sort of gusset or like an angled piece, like for support, like going behind it at a 45 and in front of it at a 45. But these things like don't seem like they're going anywhere. <laughs> One last test to do. That's as far as it goes back on its current setting. I only have the two seat belts in right now. There will be two that go over the shoulder. I just don't know how I'm going to do that because in this vehicle, unlike Crush, you can actually like move these seats back and forth and Crush, they're just locked, I think. Or maybe I'm lying. Maybe they do move. Oh, got some tilt. Tell you what though, this thing isn't even sitting up where it's supposed to be. It's gonna be up so much higher. And I'm 6'1", and this is still, this is a sucker to get into. And then the seats are higher than they're originally supposed to be. So we're either gonna have to bring a ladder with us, or we're gonna have to get some side rails, some side steps, or something. I can jump, maybe my passenger won't be able to. But those things do look sick. So we got the racing seats installed on the turbo Jeep. And the next time you see it, it probably won't have the seats in it because we don't want to get them dirty. We have a lot of stuff to take care of. I hope to see you guys before Christmas. If I don't, have a very, very Merry Christmas. Stay froggy fresh, stay super fly. And if you want to feel a little bit more froggy fresh, you know, stay super fly. We'll see you later. 3D Machines out. Whoa, whoa, whoa.